What is going on guys? Welcome to your fourth XHTML and CSS tutorial. And in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is teaching you guys about paragraphs and line breaks. So if you haven't noticed already, what I did is I deleted everything out of our body so we just have a blank, empty body with no tags in because that was the stuff we learned about in the last tutorial. In this tutorial, we're on to bigger and better things. So anyways, you should have a website that when you refresh it, it's just blank again. So, like I was saying, let's go ahead and learn about paragraphs. Now, first of all, if you don't know what a paragraph is, then I don't even know how you figured out how to watch this tutorial because you're just clueless. But a paragraph is basically chunks of text, and it makes articles and magazines and text on a website easier to read. So, you would think that whenever you created a website, that making paragraphs would be essential to that. So, I know what you're thinking. Bucky, if I want to create a paragraph on my website, it's simple. Just go ahead into my body and type in any text. Bucky is the best ever paragraph one. Go ahead and end it. Make a new paragraph a couple lines down and said, because he loves bacon, eats it too. And a bunch of typos, perfect. So one paragraph, two paragraph, let's save this and take a look at our awesome website with paragraphs. Refresh it. Whoa, WTF, Bucky? Why the heck is this all on one line? That's not what I typed in here. Well, check it out. XHTML is something called, what is it called? What's the technical name for it? I think it's like white space insensitive or something. And what this means is, even though you see all these spaces and, you know, new paragraphs, your browser looks at all of this in one long line of code. So it doesn't know that you have spaces or you want new paragraphs here. You need to tell it explicitly. So whenever we create a website and we want paragraphs, we have to surround the sections of text that we want in paragraphs with special tags. Now we do this, well let's just go ahead and do this. The special tag for paragraph is P. So let's go ahead and make this paragraph by starting it here and ending it here. And we'll make this a paragraph too. And we'll put a P right here and a P right there. So now we actually have these two paragraphs instead of just random text. So before your browser looked at this as one big sentence. Oh my god, this girl keeps texting me. Let me see what she's saying. I'll read it to you guys because she's probably like, quit reading my text and all your tutorials. Well, too bad. Quit texting me when I'm trying to teach. OMG, my final was terrible. I hate my life. Yeah, I'm definitely not texting her back. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, I lost track. So anyways, your browser used to see one long line of text. So now what we're telling it to do is, all right, make this text into paragraph and makes this text into a paragraph so let's go ahead and save this and see what we got instead of this long line of text right here let's refresh it and bam look at that two brand new beautiful 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 paragraphs oh, I'm getting a little excited there but alright so now that's good and all but what are you saying alright Bucky I kinda am going for this look but what I want is I want this to be on the next line. So we already know that with paragraphs, we have a space in between, just like you know a regular paragraph would. But let's go ahead and make it on the next line instead of you know having a space in between. So go ahead, delete all your P paragraph tags. And we already know this. We already know you can't do that because when we save it, it's going to turn it into one long line again. So what is you know the trick that we can do to you know make it just on the next line kinda like it's like here well we can't surround it in paragraph tags because that'll add a space in between anytime we wanna simulate you know just hitting enter on the keyboard and moving the text to the next line we need to add something called a line break now you know how all the tags we created so far with exception of this one has an opening and a closing and that is so your website knows where to start and where to end where your body knows where to start and where to end where your head knows where to start and end where your title knows where to start and where to end and everything in between it is the title well whenever you hit make a line break you don't really need a beginning and an end of a line break that's like doing something like dumb like when I press enter on my keyboard it doesn't need to know when you started 
or when you end it. It just needs to know when I press enter, go to the next line. Plain and simple. So the tag for a line break is going to be a little bit different than an opening and closing tag. Let me go, go ahead and show you guys what the tag is. So let's go ahead and move this all on one line first of all. And in between it, we're going to put a special tag, and that's BR. And after it, go ahead and make your forward slash. So as you see, in normal closing tags, we put the forward slash before the keyword. But in this one, we're putting it after the keyword. Anytime you have a single tag, you put the forward slash after the keyword. And this is the same for line breaks, images, um, something called a horizontal line or horizontal rule. But anyways, we'll get into that later. So anyways, let's go ahead and save this. And here's what's going to happen. It's going to say, Bucky is the best ever on the first line. Then it's going to hit a break, which is pretty much going to shift everything down to the very next line. And then it's going to say, because he loves Bacana in Yatsitu. Hmm, interesting. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, refresh this, and bam, look at that. It breaks right here, and on the very next line, it continues with the rest of its crap. So that's how you make a basic line break and uh, why those are useful. So um, something that that may be really useful for is like if you were making an address, but Bucky Roberts, uh, 1331, whatever I really live, I don't even know my address right now, but anyways, that's that. So let's go ahead and uh, let me create a basic website real quick with the tools that we learned so far. We're going to start out with a header, which is h1, and end it with h1. Now everything in between here is going to be a header and be like, best website ever, with an explanation point. Now under this header, I might want a paragraph. So let's go ahead. I make all my tags first. Some people do this. Some people write this is my paragraph make sure you got a couple typos in there and then they make tags but what I like to do is I like to make both the tags first and then fill in whatever I want in the middle that way I don't forget about one tag or the other so let's go ahead and after this we might like make like h2 h2 and write this is the second header and let's go ahead and make a paragraph under this one and right this is the second paragraph uh, good enough and now let's go ahead and add a line break br space forward slash and after this right and now I'm done with this tutorial pretty bad but anyways you get the point so let's go ahead and uh, save this and so we, we got to see, let me make sure I didn't mess up anything before I embarrass myself. Yeah, I'll embarrass myself some other way. So let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful website. Header 1, best website ever. And here's my first paragraph. And then header 2, it's a little bit smaller, but still noticeable. And here's my second paragraph with a line break in the middle and about 2,000 typos. So there you have it. There is how you create headers paragraphs, line breaks, and all that good stuff. So in the next tutorial, I think we're ready to move on to something a little more advanced. So don't go ahead and uh, start creating awesome websites so far because, uh, you know, if this is all you know, then you probably can't get a job with Microsoft just yet. So hold on to your horses and uh, wait to the next tutorial. But for now, in the meantime, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys later.